previously on Tele on Steroids. In this video we're looking at Harley Benton T-Style Electric Guitar Assembly Kit. You might have already watched the live stream with Catpick Studios and the Guitar Geek. Welcome to the Tele Assembly Madness. Three, two, one, go! The jack connector doesn't really fit in. My well, screws are all the same. <laughs> Um, guys, none of my screw holes line up. Yeah, some screws are really off. Oh, I like this guitar. I'm gonna use it for experiments. And that I did. This specific guitar body already had a thin layer of something on it. That was just waiting for me to send it down. Moving on, it's time to spray the color. So here is what I had at the end of this painting session. Here is some dust, here is some dust, here is some more dust. Okay, I'm gonna go and sand this down and try to polish it. And that was a terrible mistake. That looked like white spots and stripes all over the body. Somehow I fixed it. And that's it, because I'm, I'm done with this one. <laughs> I've decided to address this headstock shape. I probably should have approached this differently right from the beginning. And the all-new episode of Tele on Steroids starts right now. The following brands have, in one way or another, contributed to this video. Hey everyone, here is Max, and in this episode of Tele on Steroids we're gonna figure out if there is any difference in sound between strings through the bridge and strings through the body. Well, as you can see, since last episode this guitar had a little bit of a makeover. Now it has this beautiful custom-made pickguard, and initially it didn't have the string through body option, so I had to drill some holes and install string sockets on the back. I've got string sockets from Toman. These are Holly Benton branded and are quite inexpensive. I'll give you a link in the description below. And the pickguard comes from flatguitar.com. Richard Flat watched my video about 7 mistakes to avoid when painting a guitar with spray cans, which was the previous episode of Tele on Steroids, contacted me and offered one of his pickguards for experiments, so I could actually pick any design, color and incorporate my own graphics, which I did. Here is what it looked like in the making, and why do I suddenly feel like I desperately need a laser engraver? String sockets have arrived, and let's do the unboxing, or shall I say, unpacking, or unwrapping. Anyway, let's get right to it. This probably is the shortest unboxing I ever had on my channel. We've got six string sockets, a complete package. Or is it? What if you have a seven string guitar? Well, then you're gonna have to buy two packs. I've unpacked the pigguard on a live stream on my secondary channel. And inside of the envelope, I found some guitar picks made of different kinds of wood. Beautiful, and they are actually pretty thick. Let me know in the comments below if you want me to try these picks in another video. Alright, here is the pigguard. Let's turn it around and take a closer look. Unfortunately, it looks like it was a little bit damaged during the shipping. Let's see if I'm gonna be able to fix it later. And by the way, following the good old tradition, I've made a big mistake with the pigguard. I just assumed my guitar had a standard Telecaster pigguard. And that's what I've ordered without double checking the actual size and holes positions. And of course, the new pigguard didn't fit. Well done! Because some drilling has to be performed for string sockets and some brute force of the same nature to be applied to the pigguard, I've decided to do both of these things at the same time. But first, I was able to fix the damaged part of the seal using a black pan and some white-out liquid. I've decided to reshape the pickguard and drill some new holes in it instead of doing anything to the guitar. The guitar had to get six new holes anyway, so I thought that would be enough. I used a drill bit to mark where those holes needed to be. That was a 3 or 4 mm bit, and string sockets on the back will need something thicker than that, like 8 mm or something. Okay, time for some drill press action. Eight new holes in the pickguard, some of those very close to the old ones, which would be very hard to do without a drill press. And reshaping with a rasp drill bit, well, that was fun. On the other hand, holes for string sockets are right in the middle of the body, way too far from the edge for my drill press to reach. So I've decided to use a wood block as a guide and a longer bit to keep holes parallel. Unfortunately, I was a little too fast and a chunk of wood on the back side was gone. I fixed it later, but now I pre-drilled slots for string sockets. And then continued making holes through the body. Okay, now I can push these string sockets inside. I may need some tool for that. Okay, that worked. Okay, looks good. Back to the pig guard. Some parts had to be refinished, and a white out fluid did a really good job on that. Okay, the pig guard is installed, 
and I've chosen to drill holes in it instead of drilling holes in the body. And now I want to fill them with some white plastic using my 3D printer. Well, using a 3D printer was not the best idea. Even though I was able to fill one of the holes, I don't really like the result. So let's try something else. Hot glue together with white out fluid happened to be a pretty good solution. Okay, holes through the body, check. New pee guard, check. And old holes are nicely filled, you cannot even see them anymore. And now I can put this guitar together. And yeah, as you can see, I was able to fix that missing chunk of wood next to the six string socket. Good, time to put on some strings. I'll be using this random set of 9 to 46 that I just happen to have. And let's begin with the strings through body option. Okay, now let's run strings through the bridge. Ah, uh, that wasn't very informative, was it? Well, of course I'm gonna put it together for you. If you see a blue shirt, that means strings through the bridge, and the pink one means strings through the body. And here is what it sounds like unplugged through a condenser mic this far from the body. But what about sustain? Okay, here are both of them side by side. So, 
Could you hear any difference? Let's talk about this in the comments below. Also tell me what option you personally prefer, strings through the bridge or through the body and why. If you want to grab yourself a DIY kit like this, I'll give you a link to it in the description below. And that's all for today, stay tuned for the next episode of Telly on Steroids. Wow, you've made it to the end of this video, and I'm very happy about that, because first I can say thanks, and second, not many people make it this far. It would be really great to hear back from you in the comments below, not necessarily about the topic of the video, but just, you know, to say hi, for example. If for some reason you like what I do here on this channel and want to support me, there's Patreon, I'll give you a link to that in the description below, and other than that, subscribe or don't subscribe, whatever you feel like. That's it for now, and I'll see you in the next video someday soon.